Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This is Minister Paul, a watchman on the wall for my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, constantly reminding myself that minister means servant to serve. Uh, it's Friday, and we thank God it's Friday. We thank God that we woke up on any day. It's 11 uh, 25 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and I'm out here in Northern California. I want to share a, a dream I had that uh, I got the revelation. I had the dream uh, last night, and I actually woke up early. I didn't wake up because of the dream. I, for, I woke up at 4.30 this morning and was no longer tired, which is has not been happening much uh, lately. But for some reason it did. So I came out here and I'm working on a sermon for Sunday. It's going to be live stream at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time this Sunday. If you want to come join us, you are invited to come join us. So I was working on that sermon, and that's what all these tabs are over here. Um... And then I went into my morning prayer, and in the morning prayer, I received a bunch of revelation on not only this dream and the meaning, the Lord gave me the meaning of the dream, but also a warning for Hollywood. And um, so uh, let's just go into the, let's go into the dream. And but before I start the, this whole video, because I'm going to show you a whole bunch of uh, things that I've prepared here. It, it, the Lord gave me this, uh, this song in my heart when I hit record. And it's so old that I don't even remember all of the words. But th this is the message. Yesterday's gone. So, so whatever issues or struggles or challenges with you had yesterday... You need to leave them in the past and forget them. And uh, and tomorrow may never come. So we have today, and uh, I want your minds cleared. The Lord wants your minds cleared and focused on Him, not on yesterday. So the song kind of goes like this. It's called One Day at a Time. You know, I can't sing, but I'm going to anyways. It's free. <laughs> Free singing, it goes like this. It goes, uh, one day at a time, sweet Jesus. That's all I'm asking of you. And then it goes something. It, it basically says, yesterday's gone, sweet Jesus. And tomorrow may never come. Lord, help me today. Uh, help me to pray uh, one day at a time, because someone put the, find the lyrics to that song and, and put it in here, I think it's really an encouraging, uh, song, I'm gonna find it, if no one else does, I will, okay, so I'm gonna look at the lyrics and find the song, so, it, it, let's go to the dream, before I go to the dream, I'm gonna give you some scriptures, and I'll put all of these links in the description box, uh, in regards to having dreams, um, and sharing them, uh, I'm going to cite Acts 2 of the Holy Word of God. And, uh, and Peter here is saying, after they were filled with the Holy Spirit and in one accord and having an upper room experience and being baptized in the Holy Ghost. Uh, it says, but this is that which was pro uh, uh, spoken by the prophet Joel, which is in Joel 2, it, Joel 2, Acts 2. And it shall come to pass in the last days, we're in the last days, saith God. I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall see, uh, uh, shall dream dreams. I guess I'm an old man, but you know, I'm happy just to be alive. And on my servants and on my handmaidens I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. And, and what I want to make clear here is that this is biblical. To have a warning dream and then I'm going to show you a scripture on how it's biblical to warn when you have these dreams so everybody can have understanding uh, and that it's on men and women um, just so everybody knows young and old men and women that's the key to this so the biblical scripture for warning is in Ezekiel 33 it's also in Ezekiel 3 
And it says again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people, and say unto them, When I bring the sword upon a land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast and set him for their watchman, that's why I always say, Minister Paul, watchman on the wall. I received this calling in 2011 and have not swayed from it. And when he sees the sword coming upon the land, he blows the trumpet or, or sounds the alarm and warns the people. And I'll let you read on here. If, uh, if I don't sound the alarm, the blood's on my hands. And when I do sound the alarm, if you fail to take heed to it, then the blood's on your hands. So I'll put a link to that. So this is biblical. There's several watchmen on YouTube. I, I believe we should lift them up in prayer. I believe they're doing an excellent service uh, for the Lord. And uh, if you've been on YouTube any amount of time, you know who they are. So, um, I'll do the dream first, and then I'll come back to that one. So, in my dream, um, in, well, let's just flow through this. Where's Harrison Ford? In, in, in my dream, my, uh, I'm following my sister through this mall, and it's a three-story mall. And, um, she doesn't know I'm following her, and, uh, and I'm, I'm keeping my distance because I want to see who she was meeting with. And, um, so I'm watching and waiting, and, uh, at some point, she went from the first floor up to the second floor. And on the second floor, she was sitting down on a bench, and I actually sat down on the bench with her. It was like a courtyard, food court kind of area. And it was, a, a, I remember one thing, it was a really nice uh, higher end mall. And uh, I asked her what's up and we began a friendly talk and she said she was meeting with someone and I asked her who and she was real vague and uh, elusive. And uh, so I said, well, I'll just wait and see. I'm curious who you gonna meet. And, uh, I could tell she was kind of annoyed that she didn't want me to see who she was meeting. And then all of a sudden this actor sits down next to her and it was Harrison Ford. And so here's some pictures. I just did a Google search for Harrison Ford and these images dropped up. And, you know, one thing that struck me is I, I want to investigate is movie titles he's made like Raiders of the Lost Ark. Uh, I believe he was looking for the Ark of the Covenant. I think that's... Uh, that's also a part of this message. And so he, he, he's watching me and he's being friendly and she, she introduces me as her brother. And, um, and he's kind of cool at first. But then, you know, they get up and, and they go to walk up to the third floor and I kind of follow him. And, uh, and he kind of looks back at me and he's just point blank. Uh, he said, so what, are you going to hang out with this the whole time? Because we were going to leave the mall and go to my house. And he said, uh, and the impression I got was, uh-oh, I've became the third wheel here, you know. And I said, no. I, I said, you guys have fun. The Lord be with you. I said, Cher, I'll be praying for you. That's my sister's name. And, uh, and remember, it's just a dream. And, uh, and then I left out the front doors of the mall and they were on the third floor so that's how i remember the dream now after praying extensively or talking like for about 40 minutes it's 11 33 i don't know why that seems uh after uh praying extensively and not expecting this revelation the lord gives me the meaning to this dream in this dream uh i represented uh a messenger, uh, a witness, so to speak, a, a, a minister. I, 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 in the dream, I represented um, someone uh, presenting the word of God, spreading the gospel, sharing the gospel, in other words. And uh, my sister represented, <laughs> this is so, so hardcore and sad, but it, it's symbolic, remember that. My sister represented this, this sinful world and the people in this sinful world. I'm not saying she is that. I'm just keeping to what the Holy Spirit showed me. And Harrison Ford represented elite Hollywood. The music industry, the movie industry, the, the region, the area, um, 
all of that movies TV music all of it that uh, works for evil and them leaving and not wanting to be a part of me represents their rejection of the gospel and so that was my dream if anybody has any input so then I went to go um, to go do my workout and when I was working out I received more revelation and the Lord told me that I want you to sound this alarm that there's going to be an attack and, and specifically said I God said I will allow an attack against Hollywood it's been planned I'm not uh, I'm not giving any time frame at all you know the some of these things uh, the messengers warned about were 600 years before they came to pass so I'm not setting a time frame on it but I'm sounding the alarm and, and I told you why in obedience and so um, I, I kind of looked at the, the, the Hollywood sign and as I was looking at this sign the Lord said that sign will be brought down and so I don't know uh, what type of attack this will be whether it will be another cyber hack attack like what happened with Sony whether he'll allow an earthquake to hit Southern California or whether um, some certain actors who've been you know being intentionally allowed to be used by Satan something will happen in their lives all I know is it could be the area and it could be the industry I can't add or take away from that all I can do is pray Psalm 91 protection and ask that anybody involved in the Hollywood entertainment industry in any level repent of their sins and turn to Jesus Christ before it's too late because surely this will happen let me check my tabs here we'll move this one over um, so we'll bring this one over to here just bear with me here and so that's the end of that dream so I'll close this tab and close this tab so now in line with this dream the revelation continued uh, to pour out and and the Lord showed me that what you are seeing right now is apostasy it's a falling away from the faith and that we should not be surprised by it it's 1137 and, and what the Holy Spirit was showing me in the scriptures was that the great falling away occurred and then the Antichrist is revealed and and uh, also that there will be a sudden appearance of Christ in the sky that's what scripture says that Christ will appear in the clouds in the second coming he actually steps physically down in Israel but that's different from him appearing in 1 Thessalonians 4. And I'm not going to get into a whole teaching that's for Sunday. That's different than him appearing in the clouds where people are caught up with him in the clouds. is different from him coming down all the way down and physically stepping foot. They're two different things. So what you're seeing here like with this God isn't fixing this on the front of newspapers. And then the other thing, I, I was watching the news yesterday. They had this thing, I'd never heard of it before. It's called prayer shaming. Um, anybody ever heard of prayer shaming? Prayer shaming? I mean, shaming people for prayer over the San Bernardino shooting. Um, the, uh, where's, where's my Twitter account? You can, you can go here in live. I have this live on a prayer shaming. You can see how many different people are using the hashtag uh, prayer shaming and that did, what what all of this is you, you see how many do you see how many uh, how, how how heavy this is trending on Twitter and so what the Lord told me is that don't think this is strange don't be surprised by it it has to happen um, it's apostasy and here's the definition for that if you want to look up what apostasy is and look it up in the Greek it is here 
and that the Lord told me this will this will lead and I don't know when to a sudden appearance and so what I did was I was researching a sudden appearance in Greek and you can do that on your own if you like to and so that's the message uh, I want to share that with you I want to close with this I, I had a third uh, revelation of where we are supposed to be as the body of Christ as one many members one body we're the the vines and and, and he's the vine dresser uh, we're the bride he's the bridegroom we're all together and we're supposed to be in unity and one accord what the Lord showed me was and this all happened via revelation today was I remember what my first day when I arrived in boot camp in Orlando Florida I was given a, a mission <clears throat> I was given an assignment and I was given an, a purpose to serve the United States of America but I didn't know how to do it I didn't have the skills to do it um, <clears throat> I was just a, they called it a boot when you first get there they call you a boot and uh, and this is kind of what it looks like you're given all these things uh, you know you have no idea what you've gotten into all these regrets are going through your head and you've entered into something that you don't fully understand yet that's that's kind of like a newborn Christian and the, this is how the Lord showed it to me he said but uh, where the Lord uh, wants us now to be is uh, as graduates I remember when I graduated from boot camp yeah, same place Orlando Florida I remember I, I all of a sudden and I'll put this image up I all of a sudden had this uh, I had a full understanding of my mission a full understanding of what I was to do I was equipped and trained and I knew what my purpose was I knew what my job was and I had the tools to do it I had full understanding uh, of this I remember just like uh, this in in my company company 184 you you go march around this big track and if the if the captain of the base there salutes you then you get an extra day of leave or what they called liberty in the Navy and I remember marching and him saluting us which meant we all got an extra day of leave and everybody's family most people's families had gathered there together but since I grew up in a, a broken uh, uh, parental situation of the child of divorce um, my mom and dad got divorced at age three no one was there I mean no one from my entire family my brother I had two brothers at the time one's with the Lord now I had two brothers and a sister my mom my dad all of my friends there was nobody there it, it was like the proudest moment of my my life it, I went through eight weeks of this drilling and uh, and another four work weeks just on firefighter training and I uh, and no one was there to celebrate with me and uh, what what Jesus has told me and I want to comfort you with these words is he will always be there with you you are never alone you are he will never leave you or forsake you no one can snatch you, you from his hands he's there with you right now he's speaking to us right now he's giving us these warnings right now because he loves us having said all that I hope I've said something that that, that can help you thank you for uh, being a part of this channel um, continue to pray for uh, the ministry God has birthed here and we will continue to pray for you I'm uh, gonna see if I can be on uh, the Lord's hour tonight as a call-in guest uh, hosted by buddy and Brenda Smith there in Texas uh, and if that comes to pass I'll put a link to that and put it on my Facebook also God bless you all Amen.